Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of capital structure. In the previous video, we have seen the first one that is net income approach. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to see the second one that is net operating income approach. Okay, now let's get into the video. See, before we see the numerical problem on net operating income approach, let us try to understand the basic assumptions and formulas. Okay. The first assumption is the market capitalizes the value of the firm as a whole. That is, uh, the split between debt and equity is not important according to this approach. Okay. And the second one is the use of less costly debt funds increases the risk of shareholders. Okay. So, this causes the equity capitalization rate to increase. Thus, the advantage of debt is set off exactly by increasing an equity capitalization rate. Okay. So, this is also one of the important assumptions under net operating income approach. And the third one is there are no corporate tax under this approach. And the last one is the cost of debt is stable regardless of the size of the earnings. Whatever may be the earnings, the cost of debt is stable. Okay. These are the important assumptions. Now, let us see the formula. See, in the net operating income approach here, we are going to find out two important components. The first one is market value of firm. That is V. So, this is the formula. V is equal to EBIT divided by overall cost of capital. That is KO. So, both the informations will be there in the problem. Simply substitute the value to find out V. Okay. And this is the formula according to net income approach. That is previous approach net income approach. So, what is the formula? V is equal to S plus D. S refers to market value of share and D refers to market value of debt. Okay. With this formula, you can find out S. Okay. So, V is equal to S plus D. No. S is equal to V minus D. V minus D is equal to S. S refers to market value of equity and V refers to market value of the firm and D refers to market value of debt. Okay. And the second important component is a uh, Cost of equity, that is KE. KE refers to cost of equity or equity capitalization rate. Okay, so this is the formula, that is EBT. EBT refers to earnings after interest but before tax. Okay, so earnings after interest before tax because one of the assumptions under net operating income approach is uh, there is no corporate tax. Okay, so before considering the tax, what is the earnings, that is earnings available before tax but after interest okay divided by value of equity that is yes market value of equity with this formula you can find out yes value and then substitute the value into 100 you will be getting cost of equity okay now let's see the numerical problem for better understanding see the problem xyz limited has an ebit of 6 lakhs and the cost of debt is 10 percentage and the outstanding debt is 12 lakhs. This is debt. Debt finance is given in the problem. How much cost of debt? 10 percentage. No. So, interest will be calculated on this amount. 10 percentage on 12 lakhs. Okay. And the overall capitalization rate, KO is given in the problem. Okay. It's 15 percentage. Calculate the total value of the firm that is V and equity capitalization rate that is KE. So, they are asking us to find out V and KE under net operating income approach. Okay. Now, let's see the solution. They asked us to find out value of the firm. That is V. What is the formula? V is equal to EBIT divided by KO. EBIT is given in the problem. How much? 6 lakhs. And KO is 15 percentage. So, simply apply the formula. You will be getting the answer. So, 6 lakhs divided by K over 15 percentage, no. So, 15 into 100 rupees 40 lakhs. So, this is the value of the firm. We have calculated based on the formula. Now, the next component is KE. KE refers to cost of equity or equity capitalization rate. So, what is the formula? EBT. EBT means earnings before tax. Okay, for that you have to calculate this. EBIT, earnings before interest and tax minus interest alone. Then you will be getting EBT, before tax, divided by S. 
yes refers to market value of share into 100 so we have to calculate yes so what is the formula to find out yes yes is equal to v minus d okay so the value of the firm is 40 lakhs minus debt is given in the problem how much debt the cost of debt is 10 percentage and the outstanding debt is 12 lakhs so this is d okay this amount is included in the value of the firm just subtract debt from total value of the firm you will be getting market value of equity share so 40 lakhs minus debt is 12 lakh so yes value is rupees 28 lakhs now substitute this value in the formula okay so how to calculate cost of equity ebit minus interest that is earnings available to equity shareholders divided by yes market value of share so how much ebit 6 lakhs minus interest 10 percentage on debt 12 lakhs so minus 1 lakh 20 thousand divided by market value of equity share 28 lakhs into 100 the answer is 21.43 percentage okay see this is the way to calculate market value of the firm and cost of equity according to net operating income approach you can find the playlist link in the description box for the other models Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.